Eastbound and down is uh, next off the start ramp. 27 for creativity. They're paying homage to Smokey and the Bandits. 40th anniversary with a soapbox in the shape of a 1977 black and gold Trans Am, which is, uh, of course, the car used in the film. Uh, Tim the pilot, Andy the co-pilot, John and Kieran, the rest of the crew. Well, you'd expect this one to be quick. Now, they hope it's quick. And the performance got 33. So let's see what Smokey and the Bandit can do. Can Tim get it down in a fast time? They've got the liner to start things off. Not that quick through there. There's the first little skid on the way down as well. Haven't seen too much of that. There's the lolly drop. Got to get quick from here. Let's have a look at the, uh, the speed gun and see what that shows us as they move down to the Grand Slammer. 28 miles an hour, that's good. And they're quick through the Grand Slammer. Now, can they keep it smooth? Can they keep it straight? Can they capitalise on the speed? Oh, they've hit it hard there. And Tim's done fantastically well to rescue it. And 40.59. But I think Tim's heart was in his mouth when he came down nose first over the sizzler. They're quite slow at this stage. You just see a little skid off the, the Lido there. But they got quicker and quicker the further down the course they went. And it was very spectacular at the finish over the Sizzler. Could have gone horribly wrong, but Tim, the pilot, you can see here how hard he works to hold it. He knows there that he's got a problem. And he does so well to keep it straight and get it to the finish line in a good time. <laughs> 